Hi guys, how you doing? You guys, this is my hair. I came to show you guys my hair today. <laughs> Actually, this is not my hair. This is a wig, guys. This is a 4C Afro wig from Elfin Hair. This hair looks so real. It looks like real, authentic Afro hair, okay? It feels good. It looks good. Like, it can actually pass for my hair. Just tell me in the comment section how this wig makes me look, guys, because I know that it makes me look beautiful, okay? I don't know why I haven't tried Afro wigs before. This is my first time actually trying an Afro wig, and it's beautiful. Why not? I'm going to leave a link to this wig in the description box so that you can grab one for yourself, okay? If you need effortless slage, this is the wig for you, okay? Anyway, guys, let us get to styling, okay? So this is the packaging that it came in. This box is so cute. And inside the box, you have this satin bag. And inside the satin bag, you have lots of goodies. The satin bag is for storing your wig. And inside the satin bag, we have this comb and then this edge brush. There's also a little booklet which has instructions for how to care for your wig. It also had a wig cap and this pair of lashes and this is the hair guys when i first brought it out let me not lie i was a little confused i was like what's going on here but i realized that because of the way it was packaged the hair was compressed um, but it was looking a little bit strange but i'll show you guys how i transformed it from what it looks like now to what it looked like at the end and this is the lace is a lace front so you can you know do some side parts if you want and it comes with combs and this adjustable strap like it looks like a bra strap the adjustable strap helps you secure the wig on your head so you don't really need to put glue and all of that if you don't want to and yeah that's what it looks like now it actually looks like when you know you have fussy hair that is dry and you know you've not done much to your hair this is exactly what it looks like guys so let me show you what i did next so the next thing i did was to co-wash the hair so i washed the hair basically with conditioner not with shampoo okay i used a conditioner to wash the hair and while the hair was wet and drenched in conditioner i went ahead to detangle and comb the hair out okay basically like what you typically do to your natural hair yeah i combed it out properly and detangled it then i rinsed it and let it air dry and yeah i was pleasantly surprised with the end product guys i really really loved how the curls turned out the hair looked so bouncy and very nice all right guys so i have washed the hair i washed it with conditioner basically i co-washed and this is what it looks like it looks better now looks way better it's very fluffy i also added a little bit of leave-in conditioner the hair smells really good and i tried to color the lace just a little bit um, not too much because i'm not going to be like laying edges and all of that i'm not going to be melting lace and all of that because it's very very full so it's a very full afro that actually looks like real fussy nigerian african hair okay that's what i love about it because i want to be testing out afro now since i'm transitioning to natural hair i'm just going to cut off this lace The wig cap fits very well. I love it because it fits so well. Like, it is exactly my head size. Okay. So that's the wig on my hair, guys. And like I said before, I put in leave-in conditioner. So the hair is very soft. And because I combed it out while washing it, it has stretched out a bit. Um, even though it will still shrink some more when it completely dries but right now it's not completely dried but this is what it looks like if i wanted to stretch out even more i can just spray some water on it and then brush it out but i don't want to brush it out i want it to look like real fussy afro hair i don't even need to glue it down or anything the wig is not moving anywhere like it's not moving anywhere because of the bands that i put i mean that came with it i fastened the band so the hair is very very snug on my head I love this because it's easy to just put on your hair and just style it and go. You don't need to start laying edges and all that. It comes with natural edges like I showed you guys earlier. So I need to just cut off the lace right now. But let me just, you know, glue it down even though I don't really need to. But let me glue it down so that you guys will see what it looks like.
Okay guys, I just finished laying my edges and I've tied it down but I want to quickly do my makeup before I remove you know, the band and then style the hair very well but I'm loving it so far, I'm loving the afro yes, because I'm an African queen, okay? so let me just do my makeup and then I'll be right back, okay? alright guys, I am done and this is the final look I don't know what the sun is doing outside but anyway I hope you guys can see me clearly because this is the final look it is so beautiful and this hair is so soft this hair is really really nice hair like it has that very good texture it's very nice very pretty i feel pretty so if you're like me and you want to rock afro hair but you don't want to stress yourself you know trying to grow your hair trying to you know fluff your own natural hair out or maybe you don't have long hair like me my my natural hair is very 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 short okay so if you're like me and you want to have this full afro hair natural hair look you guys this is the best week for you like i said it's from elfin hair and i'm going to leave the link to everything in the description box so that you can get it for yourself okay it's a very easy wig i tried to lay it and do all of that but it's not necessary okay you can just put it on your hair and just go that's how effortless this wig is okay anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Oh,